go. And we're back in Aunt Eloise's house. And we forgot to explore, so we'll just explore. Okay. A lot of Nancy Drew books. And a key to the teacher's lounge. So that'll be useful. Hmm. Let's go explore the school. Where are all the bulletin boards? I thought there were more bulletin boards. Oh, I saw a good one. Cool. Yeah. Oh, look. That looks exactly like Tomb of the Lost Queen. Hmm. The Pharaoh picture. I think that might have something to do with, like, letters of the alphabet. Maybe. And what's this? Grape, grape, orange, cool, will play the alarm in the school. Nice rhyming there. Maybe that's for the vending machine. Yeah, thanks. I was gonna do that, since I'm very smart. Grape, grape, orange, cool. Nice one. Hulk, you're just jealous. Well, let's hurry over to the uh, te teacher's lounge to tell Connie about the alarm. Hey, Nancy, need something? Someone set off the alarm on the soda machine again. <sighs> I'll be right back. Hmm. Okay, so we have the key. How do you know that was money, Cameron? Because we just got a quarter. More money. Even more. Wow, there's a lot of money in this school. Anything we can. Oh. Some about Daryl Gray. Hmm. CLB2. Not hello. That's called Tony's Pizza. All he does is sing a song in Italian. Mm, true. Hey, what was that door over there? I need to throw out my gum. I'm gonna go check out that door. Oh, the tissues are right here. No! Oh! Go check out the door. You don't need to if you can't get into it, Cameron. That's my motto. <laughs> Hello, Hal. Have you heard of Hulk Sanchez? I've heard of him. Hulk holds the conference record for quarterback sacks. He's been the state's number one player since he was a freshman. He's also a candidate for a big university, even with his injury. Oh. Injury? Hulk got hurt a few weeks ago, ever since that game. 
He hasn't played the same. I worry that his chances of playing for a top school are not as good as before his injury. Do you know why Jake had an empty video cassette case in his locker? I didn't know Jake was interested in video. I avoided him whenever I could. Ha. What can you tell me about Daryl Gray? He's very popular, and a good politician, too. Just like his father. Like his father? I hear he was a great politician, but not a very good businessman. I think his company went bankrupt a few years ago. Do you know Connie Watson? Yes, we've been in a few classes together. I think she was dating Jake Rogers. <gasps> See ya! I must go now, Nancy. OMG. A lot of drama going on. Okay, honey's gone. Connie's gone, so. There's a note about something. No, don't send it off in here, otherwise, we die. What can I do for you? Do you know Connie Watson? Not that well. She keeps to herself a lot. I've always thought there's something mysterious about her. Kind of the same way I feel about you. Thanks. Thanks for the compliment, but I'm already seeing someone. That's cool. I'm just saying. Not playing. Yeah. Do you know why Jake had an empty video cassette case in his locker? Why were you in Jake's <gasps> locker? Don't say that. Wait, no, I, I want to see what happens. I'm working undercover for the police to investigate the murder. I'm oh. <laughs> Good one. <laughs> you, an undercover detective? But seriously, I have no idea. What else can I do for you? Okay. What can you tell me about Hal Tanaka? Hal's an exchange student who's all scholarships and study. He's very intense about becoming a doctor. How well do you know Hulk Sanchez? Big guy, big muscles, big dreams. A lot of football scouts have been coming over to watch him play. He must be under a lot of pressure to perform. Is your dad the owner of Gray Enterprises? Yep, that's him. I have an internship in the computer department at the plant. It's mega boring. But it'll look good on my college application. Didn't I hear that Gray Enterprises was bankrupt? <laughs> so what if it did? My dad is working really hard to get the company back on track, and it doesn't help to have vultures like you gloating over it. I'm sorry, Daryl. I didn't mean to gloat. Gloat? That's okay. I'm just a little touchy about it. What else can I do for you? See you later. Bye, Nancy. Let's talk to Detective Beach. Oh, can we go through that door at the back? Did I overhear you telling Daryl that you're an undercover detective? <sighs> yes. What did I tell you about not revealing this information? I'm sorry, I shouldn't have said that. Need I remind you that this is a serious murder investigation and we are counting on you to act responsibly. Is that clear? Yes, very clear. Anything else? When the police looked through Jake's locker, did they take a videotape? No. We didn't. You're thinking there's something important on that tape. Important enough that Jake hid it. Something like that. Good lead. Find that videotape, Nancy. Goodbye. Goodbye. Not ton. Okay, I can't wait. That's in the next part. So back to like an Einstein. There we go. That's my tune. Those are some color letters that we will do in the next part. We're just gonna do everything in Max scenes for the next part. Okay, 
that's a weird book. And there's a TV. And we will see you next time.